So now let's take a look at the blending effect inside of Toon Boom Harmony. So I'm going to go around here and uh, grab an, uh, something like an elliptical tool and then just draw out shape right here. So I'm just going to keep this out in uh, the um, a different layer. I'm going to create a new layer over here again. So that is going to be a different drawing. So let's have about three. So that's the green color oval shape right over there. So I'm going to bring in around another shape over here as well. So I'm going to fill that out whether I'm not going to worry about the outline right over there. I'm going to go around into the other layer now and I'm going to fill it out with blue. All right, so I got three colors right over here. So what I can do is now I can apply blending effect onto it so that the color mixes right over here on the layers. So I'm going to go uh, on to the node view for that one. So node view. So if you're using essentials, then you can simply go over here and go around with the effects that I'm using uh, premium. So you, uh, you have the node view right here. So I'm going to go around and then go into the node library. So from here, I'm going to bring in the effect uh, blending. So I'm just going to go around. There's the blending effect right over here. So let me just drag it on to the right. So now for the blending effect, you can see that there's three drawings right over here. So there's drawing two, drawing one and so forth. So let's say I want to add in a blending effect on uh, all of it. So I'm just going to uh, go to the node library again. So let's bring out the node library and bring in three blending effects. So just like that, I'm going to bring out a blending effect over here. So three blending effect right over there. So blending. So let me just uh, attach it onto the drawing two. This blending attach it and attach it right over there. So I got three blending modes, as you can see right over here. So now I don't need to worry about the node view anymore. Like I said, like if you're using essentials, then you get the effects out of the effects right from over here. So anyways, I got this. Now what I'm going to do is the blending mode doesn't work in the regular view. I have to be in the rendered mode for this one. So if I if, even if I go here, change it, nothing happens. So let's go over here and let's go around with the blending mode with the topmost layer. So that's the blue layer right over here. So if I were to double click on the star, you can see that there's the blending mode right over here. So you don't need to worry about the bottom one, but that's the top one right over here. Let's add, add legacy, burn and so forth. So let's choose add and let's see what happens. So add makes it makes the uh, layer work as a light. So everything is working as a blue light and you can see the color combination works like a light. So red and uh, blue right there gives a magenta like look and red and blue and green gives a cyan like look right over here. So that's add. So there's different add legacy and so forth. So it actually works the same way. Burn is actually makes everything burn. So you can see that over here it burns it out with blue. So gives this sort of a weird effect over here. It doesn't work out in the regular view. It only works out in the render view, as you can see. So the rendering power is required for this one. You can see there's better color burn and so forth. Dark and actually makes the color dark. So blue plus green or red, both is dark. So it gives a dark out color right, uh, right there. Multiply, uh, multiply actually makes it darken out as well. So there's other thing like dodge right over here, which dodges out the color, gives the color distinct look as you can see right over here. So there's think of a little bit of thing. Lighten makes it light again. So these are different type of uh, lights that you can use. So hard light and so forth, just like that. You can use according to what you need. Also erase and so forth. There's lighten and everything else. So I can go over here and change the blending mode for each one of these. So I can go over here, double click on this. Let's change this to uh, add as well. And let's change this one out over here. So blue, yellow, uh, the green one is right at the bottom. So it doesn't matter if I change it or not, but you can see that this is how it works like. So there's uh, red and uh, blue, which makes magenta, green and red makes yellow and green and blue mix sign all of them combination they make white so this is actually the rzb color right over there acting as the light so you can move this around the uh, beautiful thing about this is you can move it around so even if you move it around you can see that the blending mode actually works around just like that so i can go around move it around and it works as a light just like that so i can go around select this move it around to the side just like that over there and the animation follows over there so uh, over here, you can um, utilize this for a lot of 
uh, contents so you can go over here let's say change that out so i'm going to change that out into addition so you want to make them act like an ink you uh, want to uh, make them act like a light so it is totally up to you and how you plan to work with it so you can see that now it's acting like that so you can go around over here and then it is actually cancelling out the light right over there. So that is how you can work around with the blending effect inside of Toon Boom Harmony. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.